Those details came out at a news conference at which Governor Janet Mills and the head of the Maine CDC said the state is on top of the situation. But they also said we all need to do our part. Here's New Center Maine's Rosalind Flaherty. I know this news can be concerning, uh, but the CDC, the main CDC, has been preparing for this eventuality since the end of last year. Governor Janet Mills and the Maine Center for Disease Control confirming the state's first presumptive positive case of COVID-19. Our primary concern right now across the administration is to ensure the well-being of this individual. The woman in her 50s from Androscoggin County is quarantined at home. The Maine CDC is investigating her travel history and possible community exposure. Finding answers to those questions, as you can imagine, takes time. Governor Mills announcing further action requiring all insurers to cover costs related to COVID-19 testing. Cost should not be an obstacle for anyone seeking a diagnosis or health care treatment for COVID-19. The governor also suspending all out-of-state work travel for Maine state employees for the next 30 days. Both she and the Maine CDC director don't want people to panic. They want people to be prepared to protect the health of Mainers. In Augusta, Roslyn Flaherty, News Center, Maine. And throughout that news conference, Dr. Shaw once again gave the advice that he's repeated numerous times over the past few weeks, wash your hands, Stay home if you feel sick. Yesterday it was college sports. Today, professional teams in Maine said their schedules are being affected. This morning, the NBA G League announced its teams, including the Portland Red Claws, is following the NBA's lead and suspending the season. So is the East Coast Hockey League. The Maine Mariners announced that a short time ago. Also today, the Portland Sea Dogs announced their baseball season is going to start later than usual. No date has been set. The Maine legislature plans to keep working despite worries about the coronavirus, although leaders say they will be continually reviewing potential health risks to see if plans need to change. For now, they are canceling any public events in the Hall of Flags and asking people to not hold rallies at the State House. Legislative committees will still meet and the public can still attend. The balconies in House and Senate will be closed and State House tours for groups will be suspended. The legislative session is scheduled to end in mid to in mid-April.